Welcome to the charming Cape Cod village of Woods Hole. This tiny seaside community is not only a popular stop for summer visitors on their way to Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket, but is also home to several world famous scientific research institutions, such as the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute and the Marine Biological Lab. And since 1991, Woods Hole has been the host of the Woods Hole Film Festival. The festival's mission is to showcase the work of independent filmmakers from across the globe, especially those with a relationship to Cape Cod. This is a pretty amazing place to have a festival. I mean, the, in the heart of summer, to be on Cape Cod, I couldn't have, you know, you can't pick a better environment than Good Woods Hole for a festival like this. You have great audiences, great support, great, great staff. Um, this has been a pleasure. What I love about the Woods Hole Film Festival is that there's such variety here. Um, if you like one thing, one type of film, it's probably going to be here. Yeah, it's quirky, it's fun, but most of the times it's it's super interesting and, um, and it's usually a deep dive into somebody's life that's done something important that we wouldn't really learn about otherwise. It's different than anything you'd see anywhere else and a lot of the movie theaters that used to show independent films or different kinds of films are closed. So many films are blockbusters and I enjoy those too but this is really much more interesting. Uh, we watched the one about the pollinators and it was like I want all the kids to, to see this, to understand the role of bees. It was so well done and it was so insightful and halfway through it you get so depressed as they're giving you the facts and then they start talking to farmers who are saying, okay, there's another way of doing this. This is what we're doing, and this is how it's working for us. And it was just inspiring. I love that people get to show their stuff. It's almost like supporting a small business, that people who have things to say and some subjects that we don't see in other films and that we get to see these things and that we're just supporting. I once saw a film made by a whole family. It was like such an intimate affair, it was so nice. Well, they're, they're just interesting films that otherwise uh, many people wouldn't see it had it worn out for film festivals, I think. Just interesting perspectives. I love being having the filmmakers and the producers here and to talk to them and to listen to what they did, especially after you see the film, you just wonder how they did it. And uh, my uh, debut feature film, Spiral Farm, is starting in about 20 minutes, uh, and I'm very excited to be here. And watch the film with this audience. I uh, love that there's audience engagement and that there's uh, a vibrant community here that seems to appreciate film um, and that people take the time to not go to the beach and instead come watch movies. Um, and it's oftentimes our only opportunity to have the film screening uh, in front of audiences, uh, especially now with streaming platforms being the main way that a lot of people watch content. Uh, so it sort of ups the importance of film festivals even more. Because we have independent filmmakers, we really have a kind of interesting sense of what people are thinking, what's churning in the film environment. And I find it often much more interesting, but I think it's essential. So this for me is a great opportunity to just see some films that are just beautifully made and um, really special. I just like films in general, and it's really nice to have them right on our doorstep in small films and shorts and films you wouldn't necessarily see at big theaters. You know, in a day and age where uh, the studios are drifting more and more to just big tentpole productions, if you're going to have small dramas, if you're going to have those intimate stories that maybe we were more accustomed to seeing in the 70s and 80s, if you want those things to still survive, um, independent film's the place where it happens. And this film festival has you know, got a lot of history and a lot of momentum, and so it's, we benefit you know, as residents of uh, this you know, great project that was started two and a half decades ago. And, so it, it's a joy, and then just to just be able to walk down the street and oh, this this is home. Yeah, oh, there the drawbridge is going up. Yeah, this, this is a great little village with this amazing film festival that is sort of out of scale for such a small village and a small community. If you're interested in attending, supporting, or showing your work, visit WoodsHoleFilmFestival.org.